one thing I see people doing that's a, honestly a huge mistake in the pre PA phase is just having this assumption of I'm going to have a lot of student loan debt and I'm going to have a good salary and it will all work out. That is a pretty bold, big assumption that doesn't have any sort of mathematical support for it. And so then the big thing you need to do is go, okay, my big goal in the back of my mind is to have a debt to income ratio less than one. I think I mentioned that last time, meaning my total student loan debt when I graduated would be less than my first year annual income. Those things are easy to figure out. You're applying to schools. You look at what's the tuition, what's my living expense going to be, add it all up. And then you Google average PA starting salary in the state. I think I'm going to work in and you have the answer. And then if you get that number and you're pretty close to the mark, close to, let's say, make this up, you know, you're going to owe 115 K and you're going to earn 110. Then you go, okay, I'm pretty close. This is a pretty good plan. Like this, I like this. This is going to be something I can deal with after graduation. If you're looking at that and you're like, wow, this number is going to be three to one, meaning I'm going to finish everything, uh, the final graduate program, and I'm going to owe 330 k but now I'm going to earn 110 then you need to realize that you're putting yourself in a situation where you're going to be forced to really consider things like public service loan forgiveness or maybe taxable loan forgiveness, which isn't the best plan for most folks. 